What is going on you guys and welcome back. So today is going to be very very different. I want to say I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and I wish you all a very Happy New Year because 2017 is right around the corner and honestly it is going to be such a great year especially when it comes to football. But for now I want to take this moment to go over West Ham United's 2016 over all the highs and lows they had and huge huge highlights that we've gone through. This has been one of the biggest years for West Ham United ever in their history. So let's get to it. I don't want to go over it. Let's do it. West Ham's Olympic Stadium move. Now, let's be honest, I'm a West Ham fan all the way through, but in all honesty, it's not been the best start that I could have wished for. West Ham's new stadium has had its problems, whether it's just settling in, in your new seat in the Olympic Stadium, if you had the issues with stewards, if it's sitting down or standing up. Another issue we've had to come across is the atmosphere and the performance on the pitch, where you look at when we were 2-0 up against Watford and losing 4-2, or going 3-0 down to Southampton. It just wasn't the best of start. However, there is one thing that is certain, the Olympic Stadium is not Upton Park and it cannot portray that level of atmosphere or that intensity that Upton Park could. Number two, best home fans. Now I went away, I went to every game last season and including this season and I'm gonna be completely honest, the best home fans that I saw last in 2016 was Swansea City. Both the times I went to Swansea, I did not see any better fans. Last episode I made, we were three nil up against Swansea and they did not stop singing their hearts out for the whole game. Now, I'm, hats off to them, and I'm, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going there. Hats off to them, they were outstanding. Even though we won 4-1, it wasn't the easiest of wins that we've ever had to come across. Number three, the best away fans I've seen in 2016 is gonna have to be Accrington Stanley in the League Cup. Now this was very impressive towards me because they did not stop singing. They weren't doing a lot on the pitch. We were all over them, but they didn't stop singing their hearts out, getting behind their team, and I really had tons of respect for that. Number four, my top five goals of the season. Number five was Mark Noble's goal against Norwich. Let's have a look. So we've got Dimitri Pai on the edge of the box. He passes it into Noble. Noble smashes it, top bins. There is no way the keeper's gonna touch that ball, making it 2-2 to the irons. Great goal from Marky Noble. Number four was Og Bonner's goal in the FA Cup against Liverpool in the 120th minute, making it 2-1 to the irons. A great last minute snatcher against the Reds. Pai whips it in. Oh, Bono on the header! Oh, bottom bins. Mignolet has nothing to say. Look at that celebration. He's shushing. He's running. He, he's in shock that he's even scored it. And look at that. An absolute bundle on the players. Can you blame him? I mean, scoring a goal like that in the last second of the game. The West Ham fans are going mad. Number three. Now, this one, I have to admit, was one of my personal favourites, but it had to come third, because when you see the next two, you'll see why I picked them. Now, this is one of the most impressive free kicks I've seen, because Pyatt was able to bend this around the wall and get it in the back of the net against Crystal Palace in a 2-2 against them in the Premier League at home. All right, Pirates running up to it. I mean, look at that curl, back of the corner. The keeper moved the wrong way at first. I think he thought Pirate was gonna smash it straight over the wall and in. So of course he started to move, but it went into the top corner, nothing the keeper could do making it 2-1 to the West Ham at the point. However, it finished up 2-2. Number two. Now this is one that I was here at this game and I was absolutely screaming. Now I don't scream at games, but I couldn't believe he attempted to take a shot from this distance. This is Man United versus West Ham of the FA Cup. This is one of the biggest, best goals I think there was last season. I think it was contender of goal of the season for us, I think. Pipe boots it, it's the post in the back of the net. De Gea, the best keeper in the world, couldn't stop it. There we go, just shows how absolute world class that free kick was. Number one, this is all gonna be my favorite goal for many, many, many years to come. I absolutely love this goal. This is Winston Rees header against Man United in the final game at Upton Park, making it 3-2 to the Irons in the last 10 minutes. It was absolutely beautiful moment. I'll tell you what, I was crying. I've never cried at football games, but that one was one I cried at. It felt like a final. Let's watch it. Pirates free kick on Winston Rees' head. De Gea makes a huge mistake in the back of the net. Felt like De Gea should have done better, but look at Winston Rees running over. You can't blame him. 3-2 to the Irons. Final game at Upton Park done. Number five. Best chant of the season. I'll tell you what, this is really, really, really this is really hard for me to pick because I've heard so many good ones, but I'm going to have to give it to the Saints in this case. Southampton. We went to their ground. We lost 1-0. And the, uh, the Southampton fans started singing to us, we have our own ground. We have our own ground. We're Southampton. We have our own ground. And the West Ham fan, I tell you what, that made me laugh. My, I laughed a lot listening to that. And then West Ham came back with the best response. 
you pay for our ground, you pay for our ground, except from the Scousers, you pay for our ground, which I thought was the best response, even Southampton fans were applauding us for that fantastic response we came out with, so uh, big up to West Ham on the chance there, and Southampton, great load of banter, really good ground to go to as well. I'm going to have to say another chance of the season that really got me as well was we were at Leicester last year, and we drew them 2-2, and then Jamie Vardy got sent off. Uh, as he abused the ref as he was coming off. And um, as he went off the pitch, the West Ham fans started singing, Jamie Vardy's down the shower! Which I think we were the first ones to come with that. I could, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong there, could someone leave me a comment below telling me when it was first used? But Jamie Vardy got red carded. We started seeing Jamie Vardy's having a shower. And Leicester fans were going mad that we were singing that. I don't think... That's why I think we were some of the first people to sing that. Due to the fact that they were really getting wound up about it, they were proper going for it, I was like giving us tons of abuse, which I thought was absolute quality at the point. The funniest moment I had, the funniest moment I've had is going to be in this clip here. Herrera, and carried him off the pitch. Look at Marky Noble carrying off Ander Herrera because Ander Herrera was taking his time walking off the pitch. Now, the whole I was there at this game personally, and the whole entire ground, other than the Man United fans, obviously, the whole ground applauded Noble to that, and he was hated by Man United fans. But to be fair though, can you blame him? He was absolutely wasting time, Ander Herrera. Noble didn't get any booking for this. It was completely fair, apparently. I, I don't know if that is fair or not, but either way, it did give me one of the biggest laughs of the season. I think we. West Ham fans still look at that today and think he's an absolute legend for that, just in itself. But I think that showed there how much his heart was in the game. I mean, he was using a fan's mentality. It was something we all wanted to do. Number seven, the most depressive part of the year. Oh, this is this is a hard one. Um, to be fair, we had such a good 2016. However, I'm going to have to say, when we first of all moved to Olympic Stadium, I know we had a really, really impressive start at 3-0 against NK Domzali. We had a really good game against Juventus, which I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed those games, tons. However, I'm going to have to be honest, it just isn't the same as Upton Park. Personally, I never wanted to go to Olympic Stadium. I was against it from when we heard about it the first time. I didn't want to go. I love Upton Park. It was just, it was a unique ground. There was no ground like it in the world. I thought it was absolutely amazing what we had. Of course, we were moving to Olympic Stadium. It was very, very depressing to hear, but another depressing, uh, depressing thing out also. At, the, at that last game at Upton Park as well, where uh, we did win, the game finished, it was, it was, I was buzzing, but honestly, walking out the ground for the last time ever, walking back home for the first time ever, it was one of the most depressing walks I think I've ever had to take as a West Ham fan. Knowing that that was the last time I was going to see that ground ever and be inside of it, it was a very, very depressive um, walk. I, don't, I think it's been one of the most saddest times. I can actually never go down to the bottom of Green Street anymore due to the fact that I feel so depressed and down. I can't go to the bottom of Green Street. I've not been there since. I just can't look up to Park how it is now. It just, it's so depressing. Anyways, you guys, in summary, I'm going to be honest, I have to say 2016 has had its highlights. It has, it has had its ups and it's had its downs and I've loved every second of it. Recently, we have come back, got back into a really good run of form. 10 points out of 12. In my opinion, we should have beat Liverpool. We were really unlucky not to. Tomorrow, I'm going to Leicester. So this is, but this has been made before I'm going to Leicester game. So tomorrow, I'm going to Leicester. Hopefully, we can keep our run going. Try and take three points off of Leicester. Take it off the champions. That'll be huge for West Ham. Push us up the table. Try to get to that top 10. And I believe, and I gen I'm saying this now on camera, that I think that if we keep the way we're going, there is no reason why we can't come into the top half of the table, maybe even higher, depending on how our run goes. But honestly, I have complete faith in West Ham, and I, and in all honesty, I am happy being at the Olympic Stadium. You know, tell me your opinion. What was your highlights? What, what was your, you know, depressive parts of the year as well? I'd love to hear it. It'd be really interesting to see and see how much it contrasts from mine. Anyways, you guys, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for all the support I've been getting. It really, really means a lot. All the comments, all the likes, really, really means a lot. So thank you guys so much. Please do not forget to like, and I will see you soon.